Hello and welcome to the vlog, Hot Mama Travel. Cheers. It took us, it only takes us usually an hour and a half to two hours to get down to San Diego. It took us almost four hours to get to San Diego today. We hit traffic, traffic, traffic. There were accidents. It was a journey. I mean, we could have been in Vegas by now. But the kids were all really, really good. Ah, oh, good to my mom. You get a lollipop. They were really, really good. It was a long drive, but everybody was good, even the babies. And we are ready to get um, have some fun in San Diego. We got our tequila shots. And we're just waiting for my sister to arrive because you know if you've been on this channel a while, you know that we never come to Old Town without my sister in tow. So we are a traveling group. This is our place. And we're gonna go, to, I think, to Tequila Factory for dinner tonight, but if you're ready for more Old Town San Diego fun, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. We're wearing our twinsy shirts. We travel well with tequila. Oh, we see, and I just finished my shot. Yes. Well, no, just keep them. We need this. We had almost a four hour drive to San Diego, which is ridiculous. It's crazy. So, definitely required this time. Yes, indeed. Yay, we're here. Just to come. Yay! <laughs> Super hot. Is it? It's called fajitas. Would you like a tortilla? Um, uh, I want a junk food plate. A junk food plate. I want a junk food plate. No. So we're just trying to find our. The right elevator to get down to the lobby. Because if you stay at the house, the end of Shannon's got her tequila, so she's ready. She doesn't I'm care. Good. Whatever we do, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Even if we just ride elevators all night, she's fine. But we'll eventually find the right elevator. But yes, if you stay at the Hacienda, the West Western Plus Hacienda in Old Town San Diego, each building has their own elevator and it's built on a hill. So you have to kind of go down an elevator to get to another floor to get to the next building, go down another elevator to get to the next floor. So sometimes it gets a little confusing and we've stayed here literally like for 20, 20 years or more. So, and we're still like, where are, <laughs> where are we? All right, so we're gonna go take a walk around Old Town. We just finished our dinner at Tequila Factory. I think we found the right elevator out here. Oh. Hey. Sorry, I tried to hold. <laughs> God, a lot of peppers and onions I ate tonight. He sneezed on Grandpa without wearing his mask. Where's your mask? It's in my pocket. Wear it. It's like, you know, COVID isn't a new thing. It's been going on for a year and a half and he still forgets. To... <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're going to walk around Old Town, San Diego. And if you guys don't know, it's the birthplace of California. So it's one of the oldest cities in California. And um, that means there's a lot of fun haunted places. And if you ever want to see our favorite haunted places in Old Town, please go check out our vlog. I'll put the uh, card in here, up here, and I'll also put a description below in the box below. Um, but we downloaded the ghost detector, and we're gonna go to our favorite little old cemetery, El Campo Santo, and uh, we'll see if we see any uh, spirits tonight. We are 
just walking past the haunted, the most haunted house in America, according to Travel Channel. Although we've been here like a million times and we've never seen a ghost, but hey, here it is. The Whaley House. There it is. All right, these are the medallions where they built over. You can get it here. So this is a grave. Um, it's an extension of the cemetery here. So here's the cemetery. But when they started to develop, instead of moving the graves, they just built over them. And then they left little markers where they didn't move the graves. And Did you get anything on your ghost detector? Yeah, I got one ghost. He was a little boy. Oh, what did he say? He didn't say anything. He oh, said, you said, what is your ghost app? He like? said, I think it's called, I'm not sure what it's called. Okay. But it's called Ghost Detector. Okay, show it. Let Wait me see. So, Ghost Detector right there. All right, show us how it works. So, basically, you want to click out the ad and you just move it around until it says on the radar that there's a little dot. You move your camera to that dot and you see the ghost. Mm. favorite part of staying in the house, okay. as I said before, is our tequila time on our on our deck. We always like to have our little... We love our tequila. Yes, we have our space. We can see they have these neat wide hallways and if you look down, there's the plazas and they all have these little tables and that's where we gather to have our tequila and our beers at the end of the day. We got some babies sleeping down oh, here. Oh, she drank that fast. Yeah, okay. Oh, she was hungry. And then we have Ed Shannon coming and Uncle Bill and Cousin Schaller and Shaden on their way from the hotel. Ooh. We just had a day at SeaWorld. Well, a few hours at SeaWorld. It was really busy at SeaWorld today. Too busy. Actually busier than normal time. So a little confusing on that. I'm sure I said that a million times already in the SeaWorld vlog but not down with it. One of the perks of uh, COVID regulations is supposed to be less crowds, and I did not feel that today. I felt like it was opposite. We actually got to do less than we normally do at SeaWorld. Claire's first time at O'Hungry. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi, Claire. This is Claire's first hung oh Hungry's day. I love yeah, and we know. just got back from SeaWorld, so she's wearing her sea creature narwhal onesie.
guys, for $25, I bought this musical instrument. And Shannon got it for you. And so you press one of these, and then you <laughs> so usually like um one of our traditional stops is to come to the candy store the cousin's candy shop um but because of the pandemic there is a uh, uh, 10 people maximum so we are in line and our group alone will be well that means we get the whole candy store to ourselves and that's what that's what it means we're going to the candy shop <laughs> wow. Let's go look. I'm getting the taffy. Okay, so what did you guys get now? You have your little chains, you have your uh, candy cigarettes. I'm eating a tahini candy. What is that? I know that thing is bomb. It's so good. It's bussin' bussin'. <laughs> is it bussin' though? There's papers in there? So this used to be seating here and they would hold like historical events and different different little things here and storytelling and so that's not there. And then over here on the grass there used to be like picnic tables. And those are taken out and they fenced in our tree over there. So some things have changed. Hey, we found another thing missing. Aw. The cannon was missing. I'll insert a picture here. You can see that. You can see the end That's so sad. From the cannon. Our cannon. There's the haunted cosmopolitan. Remember the cannon, Ken? Oh, well, Kevin likes. Show us the kind of chips you like. Wait, real quick, I want to show you what Mama's doing. Thank you very much. Wait, <laughs> this is how this Mommy is how, does her dinners. This is how her um, chin. Yeah, Hot Mama Travel is filmed behind the scenes, behind the camera. Yeah, that's right. Now explain the chip situation. Yeah, I'll get to do it though. They find a good one. This one's kind of good. Oh, there. Oh, the mother load. So you find the spiciest chips, and then what do you do with it? You eat it in salsa. Let's see. Oh no. Mmm, is that good?
excited about the train museum? Yeah. Here it is. Hey kids. Hey dad. We're at Bara Bara. So tell us about this Hello. place. Hello. Okay, so now we're at Bara Bara Saloon in Old Town, um, San Diego in the historic plaza area. It's right next to the Fiesta de Reyes. Got a really cute patio and some really good cocktails. And here's the they menu. Claim, they claim to have the best margarita yeah, look. in San Diego. So I guess we'll have to find out for you guys. Ooh. The menu looks similar to Casa de Reyes, but this one is a little less crowded for, my for some viewers, reason. I will make sure that the margarita is in fact the best in San Diego. I will double check. You, because you've had them all except this, so. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Look at the patio. Look at these fun things too. Stick. So cleanse really crystals, powerful. recharge, and also you can cleanse yourself. We got someone sleepy. Look at that sleepy bear. He got his binky and his stinky binky. <laughs> Why do you like the smell of it? I don't know. <laughs> and then we got little Claire over here having her baba. Brother and sister. Here's my littles. These are my bigs. I'm really tired. I don't want to stop shoving chips in my face. Oh no. No, thank you. No. Kila looks like she is tired. Stop. Thank you guys so much for watching. And give this video a like and to hit the subscribe button because we have more fun videos and family travel coming your way. Thanks guys, bye. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and never miss another minute of the fun. And of course, we offer detailed destination guides and travel tips over at our blog, hotmamatravel.com to make your next family adventure hot.